Okay, so this is another quick tutorial, just kind of helping set projects up. And this is going to use a format to grab some site conditions, specifically looking at topography and satellite imagery. And then we're going to push that directly into Revit. Um, this is not brand new, but it's fairly new within the last couple of years as a system. Um, and it's fabulous. Super cool. So let's take a quick walk through it. So underneath design tools, um, and I'm using um, not the online version. This is the offloaded version of uh, Format, the standalone Windows version, I should say specifically. So I'm just going to location and apologies for my computer, my internet at home is super slow. So I'm gonna switch this to road mode um, so it doesn't take quite so long to zoom around. And I'm going to do Jubilee Park, Springfield, Missouri, the site of the project that I'm working on right now in my studio class. Let's zoom in on Jubilee Park, which is right here. And because I want the aerial information, I'm going to go ahead and switch that back to aerial. And this is our site right here. I could zoom in pretty tight and you can see the resolution is fabulous for this. But I, I do want a little bit of additional context. I'm gonna zoom out um, one scroll and get, that gets me a couple of blocks in each direction. And I'm going to click Import Satellite Image and Terrain. Click. So format, if it's been a while for you in format, um, essentially format now does um, full terrain, which is great. Um, let's take a look at that terrain layer here really quick. Windows layers. And let's not look at that satellite layer, but let's look at the terrain layer. So now we have um, full terrain happening, and this is the layer that we are interested in pushing off to Revit. Um, and if we send this as a um, AXM file, the standard format file, it is going to attach that image and send it directly across for us as well. So let's take a look at those steps, um, which again, super simple. I'm going to do a file, save sketch as locally, jubilee site.axm, and save inside of Revit. Let's start up a brand new file, architectural template, and I am going to go to insert CAD, and one of our file formats is format. So it's going to switch. It's going to look for the asterisk.axm files. There's my Jubilee site. Open. And that fast. It is in and in place. Now, you're not gonna see any topography lines on it yet um, because it does not know what it is. It only knows that this is a piece of geometry. But as mentioned, if I switch this, uh, my visual style to realistic, you will see it does carry in that um, overhead satellite imagery, which is great, sort of, sort of, but we're gonna look at one other thing to get that as a flat image as well because it doesn't really project that, at least in a way that I found quickly and easily um, on top of your topography. Um, so let's look at converting this to topography. And what it's actually going to do is create a clone. So I'm going to go mass in site, topo surface, and we are going to create an import by selecting an instance, which is that. Um, and again, you can leave all of those checked. And I'm just going to say, okay. And that's going to create, um, you know, essentially a series of points. Um, it, it duplicates these little points right here at the bottom corner. Let's change this back to hidden line so you can see it a little bit easier. I typically go back in and just delete the bottom four corners. Um, it just creates a little bit of a cleaner file. And so we now have that ready to go as my topo file. So green checkbox, and you can see I now have topography over that, um, uh, or in replace, or I should say in duplicate of what was my um, format file right here. So the format file is the piece that's pinned and it is the piece that's of volume, which is also really nice because I can use that piece of geometry at any point, either for a 3D printed site or a CNC cut site um, really quickly and easily. But 
For the purpose of this right now, I actually want to go ahead and delete that and be left with simply the two-dimensional topography ribbon. So I'm going to unpin and delete. And let's look at that in site plan. Okay, so there's my file. And what I want to do is replace underneath this the satellite image so that I can have um, the topography and the topography lines and that satellite image working together. Which with those two pieces put together, let's go ahead and undo. So I actually have those two pieces back. So now I've got the volume, that's my imported AXM file and my ribbon, that's the topo service. If I go to my site, you can see I've got topography lines, but if I switch this to realistic, it's just it's just a mess because those two pieces of information are coplanar. I could try and rip the texture map off of this and put it onto that. Um, but frankly, this method is just a little bit easier, so it's typically what I use. So I'm going to go ahead and delete um, that AXM file. I'm going to go back into my site plan view, and I'm going to jump back into format. So underneath my materials folder, I'm going to click on terrain. So that's the image map of the terrain. By double-clicking that, I thought it was a double-click. Oh, it's a right-click, excuse me, right-click and edit material. Um, you can see my maps window and there's this nice little save button right here. So I'm going to click click to save the map. Um, you can see I've already gone through this once um, and this time through I decided to get a little bit more context. So I'm going to be overriding that terrain-texture.png file. Save, yep, replace it. Let's go back into Revit. I'm going to change this to wireframe. So wireframe allows me to see through. Um, it's actually, I'll start here with hidden lines so you can see the difference. And I'm going to do an insert, import image. I'm going to find that terrain texture and say open. I'm going to click once. And now you can see why I like switching that to wireframe, right? Because I can actually see all the way through underneath my topography and to the um, satellite image. So switching that to wireframe. Essentially, you know, it's an x-ray view. It's cool. I'm going to drag that point to the corner, this point to the corner. I'm not going to get super crazy precise because we're dealing with rocks and we're dealing with um, software that is not... It, this is accurate for schematic, right? This isn't the same as high angle land surveyor, so don't get carried away into that, right? That's not what this is about. This is about schematic design thinking. But now I have my site... I've got my, my uh, satellite photograph, and I can really start working this in and start adding um, some detail on my site, streets, sidewalks, um, buildings around all of those things um, really, really quickly and easily.